Hello everybody, my name is Thiago Maia, I'm a director, design and animator. Uh, I've been in the industry for motion graphic, animation and design for the last about 10 years, 11 years, something around that. Um, I've started my career in Brazil, I freelance in London for about 7 years or 6, 7 years and uh, about 3 years ago I opened my own studio called Cake. I'm gonna pass the website later for you guys to check out if you don't know yet. But today we're gonna talk about Cineware. I was thinking what could be nice to show you guys and uh, since the, the new After Effects CC is get the Cineware, so I thought that could be quite really interest and it's been really powerful for us as using here. So I thought just to share a little bit and go through the, the plugin as we can call that as a plugin and uh, just go through and show you guys how I work with that, what you can do with that, just to show the power of that. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys first uh, the, the, the style frame I work on, uh, on the pitch. And uh, on this style frame, well, I did uh, like about three style frames for the pitch, and uh, I'm gonna show one of them. I'm working, I changed a little bit of the project in Cine4D, made a lot simple. Um, so we, we can use in the class. I just want to show how powerful the Cineware is using for simple things like uh, the pitch or for everyday and a quick things. This image here you can see is a mix of uh, pictures I just took, a, it's a photograph I took here on the studio and uh, I built all these uh, elements in 3D, in Cine4D and uh, I just composite them in After Effects and uh, and great after. So as you can see, it's it's, it's a mix of a a two uh, photograph and a three D. And uh, the way I used to do a lot, I used to get the camera, get the camera right, set up everything, model everything, put in the right camera, bring bring everything passes, so I couldn't have all the uh, shadows and um, death, every or every pass, the beauty pass and everything with the colors and that I couldn't treat all in After Effects. But now with the Cineware, pretty much I don't need to render all the pass, I don't really need to render it. And uh, I can just import the After Effects, uh, the, sorry, the Cine4D project into the After Effects and play with that. And uh, they really work together. I think it's still a little bit heavy to be honest, but like for style frame, it's, it's really save time for me and it, it's really quick. I think uh, it's the first version and things gonna get better and faster for sure. And uh, one thing is save me, tend to render a lot of passes and I have a lot of files after to back up as well. I have one scene full D, I can put to After Effects have a look, I can go back to Cine4D, change, I can use cameras in After Effects and they are ready in Cine4D, it's kind of if they communicate straight forward. Uh, so let, let's open the Cine4D project quickly here just to show you guys. Uh, I made, it's a lot simpler version than uh, what you guys saw on the pitch, but just to be faster and uh, be able to explain everything for you guys as well. Uh, so this we got like the antennas. I just made the antennas solid. Do we have the clouds? The floor is pretty much you can see here. We got the sky and the floor. We got the antennas, the clouds, and then the mountain. I have two cameras because I was working between a wide camera and a main camera. I had different photographs. I have the light. So when we render, you guys can just have a quick look. Okay, so this is the render. It's a lot simpler as you can see, especially if we compare with the old one. We had a lot more details on the antennas, we had a lot more little things on the floor and everything else. But it's just for teaching you guys a little bit. Okay, so let's move on to, to After Effects and uh, I'm gonna show you guys how is the project in After Effects and after we get. Okay guys, we have the After Effects open here. As you can see, we have pretty much similar scene we had in the scene of 4D, but now we have like kind of composite already. It's something we're gonna, I'm gonna show how to do that using the Cineware. So let's start with the Cineware. Basically, we can use Cineware in two ways, all right? We can come straight from After Effects, go File, 
and new. And if you're gonna notice now on the After Effects, you see you have a Maxon file, so you pretty much can click here, and he's gonna cr open, let you save the file, and now you're gonna be able to have a Cine4D file and work in Cine4D with this file. Uh, we're not gonna do that now, but it's the same way would work but we have already the scene for the file we work on so what we're gonna do now we're gonna create a new composition you can go straight to the menu go composition new composition but or you can just create click on the icon to create a new composition so we're gonna click here let's call escape sinewear and uh, let's leave the size here 12 8 720 so it's 720p and uh, 25 frames per second, we work in PAL. But let's leave one second here as well. It doesn't really matter. It's, it's just for style frame, so we're gonna use one frame only. But depend what if you're creating like a video already, you can put the time you want. Uh, so let's press OK. We have a new composition here, as you can see. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna collect this footage JPEG. It's basically is the photograph I took, and. Uh, it's gonna be our plate to use with the 3D. And uh, okay, as we didn't create a new scene 4D, I had imported already this scene 4D antenna that I created before. And uh, as soon as we drop that on the timeline, you just drag and drop. Let's put on top of the footage here. If you drop underneath, just move up, it's fine. As first thing you can see, it's pretty much like the file we had like in scene 4D when we open. There's nothing really changing if I open Cine 4D here. They're a little bit different, but it's just the way we're looking. But we can change a lot of things the way we're looking. So it's going to be a lot better. Uh, other thing you're going to notice, as soon as we drop a Cine 4D file in, in the timeline of After Effects, we're going to have the Cineware plugin straight as an effect for him, okay, for it. And uh, so let's have a look what we have here, okay? This is the plugin. It's, it's look pretty much straightforward. Some things we're gonna use more. It's depend on how you're gonna work. Some things I prefer. Some things I, I don't use the same way. So let's start having a look how the Cineware work. Now, first thing we're gonna have a look is the render settings we have in Cineware. Okay. At the moment, you look in the screen and you all right. That doesn't look good. It doesn't look nice. But what we have is these options that are gonna show us a little bit different. Okay, first one is the render. It's pretty much like when is is when he is the is I don't know if I can say it's the quality, but it's how the looks at the moment we are in software. You can see it's the bottom one. If we move up as a standard render and uh, as a draft, we're gonna still you can see it's almost close to what we had there, but it's not a full render, it's not the full render you get in after uh, in Cine 4D. And we also have the final render, as you can see, it's take a little bit of time because higher you go, better the quality of course, take longer for the After Effects calculate. So just be aware that and uh, every time you try work, you know, if you can work just in software, work in software to speed up your process and then you can go have a look on the, the final render, how that looks. And you can see he pretty much, without we render anything, we have a lot of options and steps we can use here and see how that gonna really look on the, on the After Effects. Okay, that's how it looks. You can see the difference between that and the draft. The shadow is a lot softer and uh, it's, we, we got a lot more quality, it's really, better now I'm just zooming so it's not really sharp but using full res is a lot a lot better so going back to the software so I can explain the other option for you guys you can see the software is a lot lighter how just the speed when changed that's why you should be working on and uh, on display when we in software we have few options we have the current shading is pretty much you can see a little bit of the shading how that it's gonna kind of look. 
we got wireframe, so that makes our life a lot easier, it's a lot lighter. You know, you can still see where is the things, you can see the flow, so help you a lot to understand to, to work and speed up your process. We also have box that is in this in this situation you can see where is things. Sometimes it's too much things on the screen, you can't really realize what it is. But is a is an option to speed up. So let's leave current shape. Uh, shading. 